um, how do we know if a miracle is from God or, or the evil one? Because the devil can also perform miracles to deceive us or deceive us. Thank you for your question. Well, well, to put it in a nutshell, how do you know if this miracle is from God or not? Time will tell. Time reveals a lot of things, my beloved, if this is from God or not. But one thing I'll say, a miracle that comes from God, it, um, there is a very direct reason for it. Uh, it's a very good intention. The, re the result of it is of good origin, meaning it's for the awakening of people, bringing people back to God, reminding people that God exists and He's always present in their life. They need to be present in His life and in His presence. So the miracle from God is a reminder of God's presence in our lives, period. A so-called false miracle from the enemy, it brings chaos, it brings confusion, it brings some sort of a fear. It's, it will never have peace in it. It will never have that inner uh, tranquility in it because the enemy does not have peace. He lacks it fully. So what he lacks, he cannot give. The enemy does not have love. He can't give you love. The enemy does not have peace in him. He cannot give you that peace. The enemy does not have the light in him. He cannot give you that light. So if you want to call it that miracle from the enemy, I can assure you it will be nothing but evil, dark, chaotic, um, brings fear, brings confusion, bring, brings chaos, you name it. So it's very clear. But a miracle from the Lord Jesus, it is in the light. Uh, it is so beautiful, it's so good. It gives you that hope. It gives you that sense of being revived once again and brings you closer to the Lord Jesus. But I'll say this. Do not be focused on tangible materialistic miracles. Do not be focused on that. Do not say, I want to see with my own naked eye. You know, I want to see like... Um, something happens so with with so i can see it with my own eyes i'd love to see that when you focus on this two things can happen here maybe the miracle will come from the lord i'm not saying that it won't it will come from the lord but also the enemy will come into the equation when you are seeking a miracle that is tangible, that is visible to the naked eye, remember, this miracle will only be temporary. This miracle will only be temporary because the Holy Bible tells us very clearly. St. Paul says, he says, do not chase the things that you see with your own eyes because everything that is visible to the naked eye is temporal but rather chase the things that are invisible to the naked eye because everything that is invisible is eternal. So when you are seeking a miracle that is visible to the naked eye, you are seeking a miracle that is only short-lived. What are you going to do? When you chase such a miracle, the miracle appears to you and you become engulfed with the love of God. You become so, so sort of revived again. You become full of the Holy Spirit again. And you become so energetic and so you want to run. You want to scream to the whole world. And you want to embrace the whole world and bring, them, bring the whole world to the Lord Jesus. But that miracle is only short-lived. And when the miracle disappears, what are you going to do? Your love for the Lord is going to disappear. Everything else is going to disappear. You know what's going to happen to you? It's actually going to backfire on you and you'll come back much worse than you were prior to seeing the miracle. The Lord out of His love, sometimes He does not reveal to you tangible miracles because you cannot handle it once it's gone. You'll be so happy when you see it, but you will be much worse 
than before once the miracle goes and anything revealed to the naked eye will disappear afterwards the ultimate miracle believe in the risen Messiah believe in the risen Messiah and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus is love the birth of the Lord is hope the baptism of the Lord at the river Jordan is, is faith the resurrection of the Lord from the dead is love and when you read uh, 1st Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 Saint Paul says three things remain in any one of us faith hope and love but the greatest of all is love because God is love my beloved so the resurrection of the Lord from the dead is love the greatest of all the ultimate miracle the Lord Jesus performed in the flesh was his resurrection from the dead that is the ultimate miracle because it, it has never been heard before that somebody died and rose from the dead except Jesus Christ of Nazareth all glory to his holy name when you believe in the risen Messiah this is the ultimate miracle you have received the love of God for you and that love is the foundation that you need to build everything else that is good on it